Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So today in this lecture, we do to discuss about wind energy, okay, which is also the improvement in technology for using conventional source of energy, okay. So as you all know that kinetic energy of the wind can be used to do the what the kinetic energy of the wind can be used to do the work to do what okay so this energy was harnessed by windmills in the past to do mechanical work so there was a shape like this windmill was installed okay it has let's say three blades okay so these are the three blades of the windmill okay so in a water for example in a water lifting pump the rotatory motion of windmill is utilized to lift the water from a the rotatory motion of windmill is of windmill is utilized is utilized to lift water from the well okay so today wind energy is also nowadays or you can say today nowadays wind energy is used to produce electrical energy or you can say electricity okay so to generate the electricity using windmill the rotatory motion of the windmill is used to turn the the rotatory motion of this windmill when air strikes so it rotates the rotatory motion of windmill is used to turn is used to turn the turbine of electric generator okay the output of a single windmill is quite small and cannot be used for commercial purposes therefore a large number of windmills are erected over a large area in the open areas you can see that a large number of windmills are installed okay so which is known as wind energy farm okay students and the energy output of each windmill in a farm is coupled together to get electricity on a commercial scale and wind energy is also very environmental friendly there is no leftover substances okay and the it is also efficient for us so it is also the technological uh, improvement which in which we are increasing the efficiency of our conventional sources of energy so students uh, by this this we are cover up with wind energy and if you have still any doubt or any question based on this then please do comment in the comment sections in the next lecture i will be uh, discussing on 
non conventional sources of energy okay so stay tuned for the next lecture on non conventional resources of energy